A few state laws go into effect today. One of them will make hazing illegal in Arizona. It's known as Jack's Law. It's named after an ASU student who died in 2012 after being forced to drink too much at his fraternity. Nine on your side's Perla Shaheen tells us what this new law means for Greek life at the U of A. Why are you doing this? I just like didn't understand. Like, what's the point? Most college students have heard of hazing, especially if they're in a sorority or a fraternity. But that doesn't mean they understand it. So why now are you making us clean up your stuff, drink a ton of alcohol? It's just it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Hazing initiates members into a group by pressuring them to do degrading things. This could involve mental, physical or sexual humiliation and often includes alcohol. When you join, you don't really think that like people could do that to one another, especially people you're in the same yeah. house with. Hazing is a problem throughout the country, including here at the University of Arizona. Since 2007, the university has reported 45 separate hazing incidents. Seven fraternities have been shut down as a result, with four currently under sanctions. Any individual members who may have been organizers of the hazing would face potential expulsion or suspension from the university. Now there's a criminal component. On Saturday, Arizona's first law against hazing went into effect. Under this law, anyone participating in hazing could face criminal charges. It would result in a misdemeanor or a felony if a death is involved. I think this new law is um, long overdue and now we can be part of the lar larger conversation of having a federal end all hazing act, which would be a big game changer. If you'd like to report hazing on campus, the university has a 24 seven hazing hotline at 520-626-4293. Perla Shaheen, KGUN 9 on your side.